So now we're going to move into um, reactions with our organic compounds, and we're going to look at them based on the different functional groups. So the first functional group we're going to look at is alkanes. Um, now these are saturated hy hydrocarbons, which means they have no double bonds. Um, they will react, but they need a strong source of energy. So a lot of times um, you need UV light or sunlight to provide that energy. They are nonpolar, so that means they're stable under most conditions. Therefore, they can be stored, transported, and compressed safely. Um, and then they have very low reactivity. So there's not much that this functional group um, will do. In fact, there's only two different reactions we need to know. The first you are already familiar with because it's combustion. So alkanes are highly exothermic, so lots of energy is released when they form the double bond in carbon dioxide and the bonds that are involved in water. There are two types of combustion, complete combustion where you form carbon dioxide and incomplete combustion where you're forming carbon monoxide. Now, um, we have only typically talked about the complete combustion. So just make sure that you watch or read carefully so that you know whether or not um, it is complete or incomplete. And the problem will tell you which one it is. Um, there, most organic compounds can undergo combustion, so this is not the only functional group that will do so. Um, but the other ones, it depends on how much oxygen is available. The higher the ratio of carbon to hydrogen, the more smoke there is because of the unburned carbon. <clears throat> Combustion reactions are a global problem because we form CO2 and water, which are greenhouse gases. They both will absorb IR radiation and contribute to the global warming and climate change. So rising levels of carbon dioxide are implicated in the increase of the world temperature. Um, so there's a push to go away from combustion reactions. Carbon monoxide is a toxin, so idling vehicle engines in high traffic areas, you produce a higher concentration of carbon monoxide, which can be toxic. Unburned carbon released into the air as particulates can cause harm to the respiratory system. So that's why you cough a lot of times when it's really smoky because of that unburned carbon. Um, they also act as a catalyst in forming smog, which is a source of global dimming. Okay, so let's write a balanced reaction for the complete combustion of propane. So because they're saying that it's complete, we know one of the products will be carbon dioxide. So prop means three carbons, ain means they're all single bonds, so we know that it's C3H8. It's going to react with oxygen. And then our two products will be CO2 and water. And then we just need to balance this. So you have three carbons, one carbon, multiply by three, eight hydrogens, two hydrogens, multiply by four, six times, I'm sorry, three times two is six, plus four times one. So that's a total of 10 oxygens, so we'll have to multiply that by 5. If the question says incomplete combustion, then we're looking for a product of just CO or carbon monoxide. Again, we have propane, so we know it's C3H8. We're going to add our oxygen so that it combusts, and we get carbon monoxide this time and water. And so to balance it, we would put a three for the three carbons, a four to get us eight hydrogens, and then we can total the oxygens here. Three and four would give us an odd number of seven. So we would have to multiply by 3.5. And then remember, you can't have a 3.5. So we would go back through and multiply all of our coefficients by two.